Uh, the area I work in, which is chemical sensing, is inherently multidisciplinary. So, you know, historically, in science and in chemistry and material science, it's been very important to establish your academic credentials through publishing. Now, once you publish, it used to be that you, you report in your CV just the papers that you publish. But now what happens is that you get you get um, a lot of focus now on referencing of other papers in people's work. This has become a really important part of, again, establishing your impact. And the way this is done is through what's called a um, citation score. So it's one thing to publish your paper. The next thing is who reads your papers? Is anybody reading it? And, you know, people will say, okay, you've published a paper, but nobody's read it, therefore it's had no impact. And the way they, they score this is through referencing of your paper and other people's publications. So I publish a paper and I cite maybe 30 publications in that paper, and then that goes into what's called a citation score for the other authors of those papers. My citation scores are then aggregated, so if you look at somebody's CV on something like the Web of Science, you can very quickly get their publications, you can get the best cited papers, you can get the aggregated citation score for that person, and then you get a, 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 um, a number of parameters that are increasingly coming out. Now, one of which the most commonly used is probably the H-index, uh, which is basically the number of papers that are cited above a certain score, and the number of papers you have cited to the maximum above this line. So for example, if you have a citation index, a h-index of 30, it means you've got 30 papers cited more than 30 times. Now these are fairly crude indicators of performance, but they're increasingly being used as a uh, one of a number of what are called key performance indicators are KPIs. And K KPIs or performance indicators are used increasingly by uh, HR when hiring people, uh, agencies when assessing the performance of, of, of PIs or principal investigators who are applying for significant funding. If you don't have a big um, H index, a high scoring H-index, then they raise, that raises questions about your performance and whether you can deliver. Because if you're not publishing in the literature, um, it means that you know people will say, work not published is work not done. So if you're not publishing, it means you know your work is not reaching that external audience.